I hadn't talked to you since you announced that you weren't retiring, so if you probably answered some of this, but did you just like get to the front of the field and start leading and saying, hey, this is going to be, uh, it's this fun, so I want to I wanna come back? I mean, what went into all this? I don't think it was quite that simple, but, uh, you know, that certainly helped. Um, yeah, I just, you know, honestly just wanted to, like last year, just take the time to make sure I was committed to, you know, doing all the things it takes to run, you know, run up front, be competitive, try to win a championship, so answered those questions and uh yeah decided to do it again and, and going into the you know next next week with daytona and and getting through that and then getting into the playoffs but how do you attack uh you know going into daytona and, and trying to you know win there knowing how chaotic that race can be yeah i think for us just uh hoping to come out of here this weekend with a really you know good position and points and um you know hopefully yeah there's a chance we could clinch the regular season this weekend that would be great but um, you know, I think I think we're in a pretty good spot. We just you know need to be need to be smart, need to do just do what we know how to do. And um, you know, Daytona is always a crapshoot, so you never know. But uh, hopefully, we can have a good weekend here, and um, you know, be be pretty low pressure, pretty low key next weekend. We'll go to Holly and then Bob. Hi, Martin. Holly Kane with the NASCAR Wire Service. Does this season? Obviously, you started off with a win in the in the Bush Clash. Bush Light Clash, um, and and got all these wins, and now you're leading the championship going in. Does it, do you have a similar feeling to the to your past championship year? Are you are all things rolling forward in a good way? I mean, are you kind of there? Yeah, yeah, I, I feel like we're we're there. I mean, it's you know you never know what can happen in the playoffs. It, it you know it's the elimination format. It, it's all you know it could be crazy. You never know, but um, I feel like you know every single weekend we're we're right there we're in the mix we have really good speed and, and a shot to win it seems like you know on on you know regular basis so that's kind of where you want to be I feel like in our years where we've had you know um where we won our championship or you know finished second and was right there it was kind of the same feeling you know just every week is like okay we're right there and, and if we do everything right we're going to be in the, in the hunt for the win so um yeah that feels good and uh, hopefully we can keep that up for the next uh you know next 12 races We'll go to Bob and then Dave in the back. Uh, Bob Hawkers, Fox Sports. What does it say about you and your team if you clinch the regular season title or race before the regular season is over? Uh, I don't know. I mean, that we've been consistent and you know we've had a good a good year. So um, yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to get it out of the way, obviously, but uh, it doesn't really matter this week or next. So um, yeah, I guess in, in 2017 we won it. We didn't clinch it. Uh, early, so maybe we're in better shape than we were then. <laughs> we'll go all the way in the back to Dave and then down here to Dustin. Dave Moody, MRN and Sirius XM. It kind of ties into what was just asked. How how high on your priority list or your to-do list is that regular season championship this weekend so that you don't have to worry about it going to Daytona? It's it's high. I mean, obviously, those 15 points are, are huge, you know. <laughs> Playoff time starts, and, and you want to have all the bonus points you can. So hopefully we can do that. That's really the main goal. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we want to win the race. Uh, more more points come with that. So, I mean, yeah, just we just got to do our jobs and be smart about it. And, uh, you know, I just got to be smart about not taking a lot of big risks or anything like that. And, um, you know, just really do what we've done all year. I mean, that's the name of the game right now. So um, do what we know how to do and, uh, and don't screw up. We'll go to Dustin. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Obviously, you got a big lead in the driver standings over over your teammate, uh, but it's a little bit smaller in the owner standings because he was penalized. He was only penalized points for the podcast comments. So I'm curious. I know you talk about the driver standings or winning the regular season. How much is there a focus on this owner standings and 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 that? And where does that play for you and your team? Um, I really don't know. I, I just look at I just look at the playoff bonus points and all that. So that's the only thing that matters to me right now. <laughs> are there are there any final questions for Martin? All right, we'll wrap here with Nathan. Nathan Son with the Pony Finish. Martin, just what's made you so good here over your career? I mean, I don't know. I I don't know that I'm so good. I mean, I think you know, there's been periods of time where we, we had things that worked for us and uh, was able to, you know, kind of use those and, and just fine tune things, um, you know, so it's kind of been, it's been spotty here and there, I guess. I like the track. I mean, that's always a positive. When you go somewhere you enjoy racing at, it always seems to come a little bit easier, but 
um, you know, last year was a bit of a struggle here. So I'm optimistic that today will be better and tomorrow will be better. I'm just kind of looking forward to getting out there and seeing what we have. So uh, this car has been, I feel like it was quite a bit different last year than what we've, what I had done in years past uh, with the previous generation cars. So we'll see if uh, the things we've worked on and all the planning we've done if uh, will work out uh, here in just a little bit.